If you guys need help using the MPC software, I now offer live video help sessions via Skype. I cover everything from how to sample inside of the MPC software easily to how to make your own beats from scratch. I also offer help on constructing, arranging, and mixing your own full tracks. So check the link in the video description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up, guys? This is your boy, DZD, a.k.a. The Drink King, Purple World Entertainment, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. And once again, thank you guys so much for tuning into the video. If this is your first time with us, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on another one of these videos. Speaking of videos, I got a good one for you guys today. I've been telling you guys that I'm going to get started with a few techniques on how I use Reaper and the MPC software together. So if you guys are using Reaper or considering using the Reaper DAW, these type of videos will help you guys a lot just to kind of give you guys an idea of some of the things that are possible when using the MPC software with Reaper. Today I'm going to talk specifically about routing tracks out of the MPC software into Reaper. You'll be able to do this inside of pretty much any DAW that has some type of routing capabilities, which all of them pretty much do have. I'm going to show you guys how to take those different channels that are inside the MPC software, route them to different channels inside of Reaper. That way all of your sounds can play through the tracks in Reaper and you can have total control over whether you want to process in Reaper, in the MPC software. And I'm going to also show you how to record the individual sounds into the DAW. That way you can arrange the track and do whatever you want to do with it. So without saying too much, let's jump inside the MPC software. I'm going to pull up this beat and then we're going to take it to Reaper. And I'm going to show you how you can route your sounds inside of the different tracks in a Reaper DAW. Let's do it. Okay, so let's jump right into it. I don't want to make this video too long, so we're going to move through it really quickly. If you don't understand anything, just rewind the video. That way you guys can check it out again and I'm sure you'll get the concept. So let's do it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open the Reaper DAW. This is the DAW I'm going to use. Use your own DAW of your choice. As long as you follow this concept, all of the DAWs should have this type of capability. So we're going to create a new project in Reaper and we're going to close out the MPC software. Okay, because we need to pull it up as a VST. We're going to remember the, remember the name of the beat. It's called Night Vibe Chill. Okay, so let's close that out and let's create a, a track in Reaper by double clicking. And then we're going to go to the effects so we can grab the MPC software as a VST. So let's go to the filter, type in MPC. It's going to narrow the search down to MPC software. Boom, there it is. Yes, you can pull up the MPC software as a VST inside of a DAW. And that's what we have here. It is the full MPC software running inside of Reaper on a track. This is amazing if you want to do a few things um, inside of the MPC software and also your DAW, you can connect the two. They will sync together. If you notice the BPM is blurred out, it is now going to follow the BPM down here of Reaper. We're not going to create anything. We're simply just going to route our sounds into Reaper. The first thing you need to do is you need to tell Reaper to recognize all of the channels in the MPC software. Those 32 channels, you need to tell Reaper to recognize all of them. That way you can start routing the sounds through them. So that's what we're going to do. It makes it very easy. If you go here um, and highlight the actual plugin and you right click on it, you can go down to where it says build multi channel routing for all output on the selected effect. So the selected effect is the MPC software. We're going to actually route all of the outputs. So all we do is click on that. It's going to ask us, do you want the following tracks for the effects? So it's going to take all of these outputs right here, everyone that it recognizes, and it's going to put it on its own track. We hit yes. Check this out. Now you have all of the outputs there. The main one is where the MPC software is. This is the main one up here. And then you have all of the outputs put up. One and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, and so on down the line to 31 and 32. So that's all of your outputs now that uh, Reaper is now recognizing in the MPC software. Now that we have everything routed, what we need to do is grab the beat. So let's go to the three lines up here. We're gonna hit file, we're gonna load recent, and we're gonna load that night by a chill beat. So now that that's loaded, we have the beat, and now we need to take the sounds and route them to those different channels that we created. So we need to take all of our drum sounds on our drum track and also our instrument tracks and route them to, to the, the different channels that Reaper has now recognized. So let's do that. When we click on one pad, you're gonna see it light up here, okay? Now, if you don't see that happening, that means that you are not in pad, in the pad channel. You are still in program channel. 
which is what you're used to working in. You have to switch this to pad channel. That way you can see the channel of the pad that you're clicking on. Okay, it, it separates it into different channels. So A1 would be my kick. If I kick on, click on the clap, that changes to A2. My open hi-hat is on A4, there it is, and so forth and so on. So let's route these drum sounds. We only have six drum sounds that we're gonna route and we need to route those to their individual tracks. So let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna click on the kick drum and we're gonna go here to where it says program. Right now is running to the program track, which is my drum track, and then that program track is running to one and two out one and two which is the default output so you can hear everything inside of your mpc software we're going to take that program and we're going to route that to one and two okay so now our a1 kick drum is routed to channel one and two okay let's go to the clap and then we're going to go down here to program and we're going to change that to yes three and four we're going to go to the open hi-hat and we're gonna change that to, let's change that to um, five and six. We're gonna go to our percussion sounds and we're gonna do it for all of them. We're gonna change that to seven and eight. Go to the program, next one, we're gonna change that to stereo output um, nine and 10. And then we're gonna change the last one to stereo output 11 and 12. Okay, so now all of our drum sounds are routed to these individual tracks right here inside of Reaper. Okay, so if I solo the individual sounds, you're going to hear just our drum sounds playing now. Let's solo all of the drum sounds. Check them out. Okay, so now what we want to do is change the rest of the sounds and get them out of 1 and 2. Right now, all of our instruments in the MPC software as well is running through 1 and 2. So we need to change all of those as well. That way the only thing that sits on channel one and two is this kick drum. And then the rest of the sounds will line up. Okay, so now let's go to our different tracks up here. Our guitar, we're gonna do this from track, from the track view. Let's click on the track view. That way we can just click on the tracks and it'll change. Okay, so this is our guitar melody. We're gonna put this back on program channel because we're no longer dealing with pads. We're dealing with the actual program of the VST that we use to make this this uh, guitar melody track. Remember, we're taking all of these sounds out of one and two and putting them all on their separate tracks. And then we're gonna put that on the next track, which would be uh, 13 and 14, okay? And then we're gonna take our bell melody, we're gonna change that from one and two, and we're gonna put that on stereo out, 15 and 16. We're gonna take our 808, stereo out, uh, 17 and 18, then guitar, stereo out, uh, 19 and 20. And then we're gonna take our lead, stereo out, and we're gonna put that on 21, 22. Okay, so that's all of our sounds. Now the only thing that should be in one and two now is just that kick drum now, that's it. So let's solo that and see if that's what's happening. Okay, so that means we have our MPC software running right here on this first track right here, which we can label that MPC if we want. Okay, you can't get rid of that because that's what the actual MPC software is running on this track. But now, instead of all of the sounds playing through here, now they are all routed to these different tracks. Let's solo them and see if we can see if we can pull them all up. entire beat playing through different tracks inside of Reaper all tracked out on different channels. Now you have the processing power of your DAW plus the processing power of the actual MPC software as well running on a track. So you can process inside an MPC software, you can put plugins, you can do whatever you want, plus you can also use processing post the beat post meaning after the beat after the beat comes out of the mpc software you have some post processing ability 
to to process and do further manipulation of your beat so this gives you total complete control just because you now have routed your sounds to different tracks in your daw so now what we want to do the natural question is to figure out how can we get these sounds to appear on on the actual tracks as uh wave files that's very easy to do in reaper you will be able to figure out how to do this in your own daw that you're using um, if you just do the research on how to to record sound into it so basically what's happening now is that all of these sounds are playing through these tracks but i need to record what's playing through these tracks onto the tracks that way i have them as wave files so once i get finished processing putting any effects on these tracks that i want or doing anything that i want to do to them once i get finished doing that whether it's eqing um half timing putting some crazy effects whatever i want to do that's going to be playing through this track through these tracks now i want to record that on to the individual tracks as wave files so let's do that we're going to highlight all of the tracks by holding shift and going down to the last one and highlighting that okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to work with the record button if you right click on the record button it's going to give you some options right now it's recording input so any audio that's coming into the track is going to record we need to record what's going out of the track so we're going to go down to output and we want to record in stereo boom it now changes our record features on just these tracks to record what's coming out of it on these tracks. Make sure that the tracks are armed. Okay, so we hit the record button, we, we left click on it and arm all the tracks. Okay, and as long as they're all selected, it's gonna deal with all of them. And then we go down here, and as soon as we hit record, it's gonna start recording the sounds on the track. So let's do that. Okay, so there's our tracks recorded. We recorded a few bars, but you can always go down and shrink this, grab them, and shrink it back to eight bars. Now you can start sequencing out your track. So now if I mute the NPC software, now I can have all of my sounds playing through the files that are on there. Record it straight off the NPC software in a perfect loop. Everything is on the grid. It matches. Everything is good to go. And now we can kind of start doing whatever you want to do to the track. We can hit Control D, duplicate, and then start muting out different pieces of the track to build our beat. However, we want to do that. All of those capabilities are now possible simply because you have now routed your tracks and also recorded your tracks inside of your DAW. So just routing your tracks is kind of like a different type of workflow if you want to process things. Now, normally when I create my beats, I like to drag all of the stems out, out of the MPC software into the Reaper DAW. Now I just start processing and doing whatever I need to do. But if you like to work inside of both, if you want to have the capabilities to build the beat and do everything inside of both, then this is definitely an option for you. It will actually help you to control your MPC software and also your DAW and take advantage of all of the opportunities that you have with both softwares. This is very effective. It can happen in other DAWs. You just need to figure out the routing system that those DAWs have. And pretty much all DAWs have some type of routing system just like this to where we'll route the tracks to different places and you will be able to send your MPC software tracks to the DAW. So just do a little bit of research on a particular software that you have, the routing system, and I'm more than sure you will be able to figure this out. That does it for the video, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope from this video that you got a good idea of the capabilities that you have when routing your tracks out of the MPC software into a DAW, how you'd like to process the tracks, and even how you'd like to arrange the tracks. So if this video helped you guys out, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button and also drop a comment below. Let me know some of your thoughts on what you'd like to see next inside of these Reaper DAW videos. I'm going to try and put a series together for you guys. That way you guys can kind of understand what's being done whenever you use the MPC software inside of a DAW. Again, thanks so much for tuning in. This is the Kid DZD, aka The Drank Tank, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios, and I will check you guys in the next video. Peace out. Pop the line, pop the line.
the time.